Hello dear friends, this is Mitro, your English tutor. In this lesson we will work a little with uh, several tasks from Duolingo English test, specifically from its famous task called uh, Read and Complete. I think this is 100% one of top three most important tasks at your Duolingo English test, if not the most, if not the paramount, because it involves you know, it engages all your mental processes and activities apart from writing and speaking but writing and speaking they are like the products of some other processes and if you do well in these tasks as I see through my experience there is a very high probability that you will get a high score on the on DET on Duolingo yeah so please treat it seriously these several texts are taken from real tests so somebody has been working with them maybe recently maybe not i haven't looked at them honestly i don't know what will what we will have here so probably i'm going to make a couple of mistakes please pardon me for them because i'm already a bit tired today but uh, i have a desire to work with you a little so also my mistakes are good indicators that we are all humans and for you not to feel so inferior to somebody I think it's very really good. I don't like, you know, this. I mean, pre-planned activity where I have read everything, I have looked up the correct answers, and now I make such an appearance of seeing it for the first time. No, no, no. It's not interesting. It's not our level. Okay, my friend. So, let's do it. My general recommend recommendation is to look through the whole text, uh, spend 15 or 20 seconds. Mm, you read the first sentence, you try to guess the topic, <coughs> then you look through these, everything, and obligatory look through last sentences. You don't have to read them aloud, I mean that you are not allowed to read them aloud, but even not to pronounce them very distinctly inside of your mind. You just, you get an idea. If you have an idea, it's easier to define the words. If you don't even have an idea, then you, know, you don't understand the context, you are sticking here, sticking there, you know. Okay, so let's read. Identity thieves have a few ways to gain access to information, one of which is to create a data breach to steal personal records. I have read it. I see that uh, identity thieves, a thief is a person who steals some property from another person. It's like a criminal. <coughs> what do they steal in this case? They steal information your personal information. So this text is going to be about IT, I think, because everything in our world now is IT, and some thieves, some criminals, you know, who make fakes, websites and passwords, everything, and steal data from you. So it's very good, I understand. Okay, let's read how I show you. They, per, per, experiment please with the pronunciation, like per or, I don't know, pa, or, you don't understand that in English we can have several ways. Per, per, the, day. Uh, obviously, I think it will be data because when you speak about computers, there are always some data. The data from crime, mm -hmm. you want to say crime or crime, it will be something about criminals, or they, because we have may, then may, mm -hmm. something like that, they or them, or oh, I'm sorry, they, you or then, mm -hmm. may, mm -hmm. fishing, to entice, only to here use to will give up probably or give us or give up the information something about information when you have infor to inform information informational informative something like that they may even install spyware capable of capturing keystrokes okay spyware capable of capturing keystrokes it's very serious you see so they can steal your passwords not through the form on the website directly yeah but through detecting your keystrokes oh my god Okay, so we have only one sentence to work with, yes, yes. We have a, a clause, meaning a subject and the predicate, and all other verbs, uh, words. So they is the subject, obviously. They, hmm, the, hmm. When we have they, hmm, the, hmm, obviously this is the predicate. It means that uh, it's a verb, like they run, or they read the book. 
This is a very powerful method. Let's call it placement method or substitution method. It's welcome uh, in all tests, not only Duolingo, in some mathematical tests. You have two main approaches. One is to know the formula, to think about the formula, to calculate something like that. The second one is to put, just put, let's call them semi-random, semi-guessed variants and see if the formula works. You understand? Yes. The same here. You think about some sentence which sounds like this to understand uh, the... Um, hold on, I'm sorry, so these terms are uh, twirling in my mind. Oh my god. The parts of the sentence. You know, we have subjects, predicates, and the parts of the language. Meaning noun, verb, adjective, adverb, and all other guys. So, th like, they read the book. Or they take the something from me. You see? Looks like that? Yes, looks like that. So we can have a, such a supposition that it's a verb. They per per. I think you understand that this is purchase. Like they buy. They purchase the data from crime, crime, criminal, of course. Criminal. -z. Oh, no, no, no. From cri. Just a moment. But why? They purchase the data from criminal. I mean that if we, when we have one person, one criminal, here we must have an article from a criminal, from the criminal. It may be a misprint on the resource. Okay, let it be. <coughs> or they may, we continue speaking about they, so, or they may, again, they may do, they may run, they may use phishing. Phishing is a term for phishing, like for fraud, online fraud, online scam, they call it phishing. Uh, they may use phishing to, only to, entice, hmm, to do. If you understand the word entice, it's much easier. If you don't, you are in some like problem. But uh, to entice somebody to do something means to provoke, to encourage somebody to do something, to lure somebody, to hoax. To, so to lure users to mm -hmm -hmm, give up. Tell me please, which part of language goes here? Let's experiment, let's place. Uh, they entice users to jump up, yeah? So what can be put? They entice students, for example, to jump at their PT lessons. To uh, powerfully jump, yeah? Yeah. If we put here some noun, to, I don't know, to magazine jump. Mm, sounds a bit weird, yeah? So this is an adverb answering our global question of how. They may use phishing to entice users to how, in which, in what way, in which manner, give up. I think that it's willingly, you know, willingly like um, the synonyms willingly. I mean that they desire it themselves. So they voluntarily give up. Yes, it's their consent. They want to do it. It's called willingly give up the information, of course, yes. Yes, information, yep. And I think we have done it, yes, nothing special. Please, uh, remember this method of placing the like sentences or structures and experimenting with them. Uh, of course, there is no guarantee in this case. On the other hand, there is no guarantee anywhere in our world and in our universe, so... Yeah. Oh, you see, we have guessed everything. Very nice. Okay, let's do one more today. Interesting, interesting the crucial middle school years it's called the crucial middle school years okay uh, by the way prior to this you see mm, they put it at duolingo for three or four years there was no such an inscription no such a title and uh, i forgot to look at this title you see by habit i forgot to look and uh, about our data and scammers and so on you will see this now it makes guessing of course easier because uh, you understand that school years uh -huh, it will be about students about school okay but even if there were in this inscription, we see that middle school, the 7th and 8th grades is a crucial time in a child's education. Okay, it's simple. Yeah? Child, education, crucial, time, school. It will be about school and children. And how nice it is. Okay, they are probably, if you put here they end, you know, it's awful. I'm joking. Yes, when students do like this, my mind, you know, is hit, is struck like with a hammer. You know, this, uh, why? How? They end beginning. It's impossible, yes? Impossible. And still, a lot of you guys can put it here. I don't know why. 
they are beginning it's present continuous it's obvious yes they are beginning to do we are beginning to do something they are beginning to focus on we always focus on oh by the way people a lot of you like to put here focus of not even realizing or thinking why you do it because you just you, know, you want it to be off and you put it like that don't do like that try to experiment inside of your mind they are beginning to focus on I focus on something I zoom in I zero in on some problem or issue something like that they're beginning to focus on individual top okay and subject in more detail full stop they have maybe have more comma and higher expect full stop yes full stop must be here but at the same time they have to figure out their personal lives and manage tricky social situations mm -hmm. okay we have two relatively small sentences not a huge one okay it means that here we have a clause here we will have some clause it means subject predicate they subject are beginning to focus predicate on individual something you see i begin to focus on my individual issues so it means that here we have a noun noun i focus on something what can it be it, it these are topics so this is i'm sorry uh, topics topics fields areas of knowledge on individual topics and subjects obviously yeah you understand that at school we learn subjects in more detail in more detail some guys of course will put here in most detail but think about it i don't want to say that in most detail like, is absolutely impossible though it's grammatically not so correct but but for duolingo it's possible but why most why not more you see you're sitting and speculating to yourself why most that more sounds more natural and more appropriate in more detail they have you understand this, that they have more mm -hmm. they subject have predicate more something like i have more money so we must have a noun here we have a comma after that which separates this part from this part so in this position there may be only a noun they have more something what do you think it's cool i think work here yeah? It's a guessing work here, so I just have to guess that it's work. Also, work is a nice common word, which is asking to be put here. Yes. They have more work and higher expectations. By the way, this comma, I think, it's an extra one. It's a mistake. We don't need a comma here, you see. They have more work and higher something. Again, a lot of guys will put here R. You understand that? If you really have a comma, maybe in 999% of cases, oh, I'm percent, I mean nine, 999 cases out of 1000, you will not have R after comma. Remember that, please. It's, it's impossible. All, maybe, but not any, maybe not. And, yes, why not? And higher, what? And higher, something. They have more something and higher something. Again, it's a noun. Expect. I think that if you like expect, you have only one paradigm or a word with the root uh, expect, expectation, expect, expect, and see something like that. Yes. So expectations. Expectations. Yeah. My Latin manner. I love it. Expectations. If somebody dislikes it, it's their problem. Higher expectations. Yeah. Makes sense. This uh, text is not difficult. <laughs> and I will have a mistake here. No, I don't have a mistake. So this is a really, like, say, beginner, no, I mean, uh, lower, medium level. Yes, lower, medium level. We ha have only expectations. A word which can cause some problems in theory. Everything else is a kindergarten. Are, to, on, have, subject, topic, you know, nothing special. Okay, my dear friends, think about them. If you have... Uh, coped successfully with this text for example it's about 100 110 for you if you have coped with the previous text no previous text about identity thieves and here it's a bit more demanding so i think if you can do this easily you can think about 120 130 at duolingo or maybe even more because there is no limit okay my friends if you need urgent assistance in your duolingo preparation please drop me a line uh, visit the website online tutor top there are testimonials and my prices sometimes we increase your score for duolingo let's say by 20 points in uh, three weeks 
yes sometimes we do like that I don't say that each time we do like that but at least I have a lot of instances of this which I'm very proud of okay and uh, you can write to me directly via whatsapp telegram Instagram Viber through to my telephone number or write an email indicated at the screen so I wish you success at Duolingo and see you in the following lessons